meetradio.com. GIF, everybody, welcome to a brand new, all new, in or out, pun intended, summer edition. This is my second to last episode of season two. It has gone by so fast. We've done almost 26 episodes this season, and I want to thank all of you so much for watching. It's because of you I get to continue to do this crazy show called In or Out, pun intended. Um, we have a huge show today. I have a lot of entertainment news. Some of our favorite singers have hit the headlines this past week. Everybody from Rihanna, Solange and Beyonce, Lady Gaga, everybody you can imagine, and I have all the dish for you as usual. Also, we have a special guest Skyping in from Cal sunny California, from Bravo TV's The People's Couch. You re may remember him from when he was a child star playing Waldo in The Little Rascals. Oh, look how cute he was. Go, Waldo. Wasn't he like, L is for the way you look? To Darla, I loved it. Um, anyway, so now he's grown up and he is on Bravo TV's new hit show, The People's Couch, along with a friend and friend to the show, Scott Nevins, and his other best friend, Emerson Collins. They are on Tuesday nights at 10, 9 central for an hour. Their season was extended, so I'm excited to talk to him about that. And he also just released an album this week called The Time Manipulator, so we're gonna talk up to him about that coming up in the show. So be sure to stay tuned to that. Guys, I want your feedback during the show. I already see we have Cindy in the chat box. Hi, Cindy, thanks for watching. Be sure to uh, send in your questions if you have anything for Blake or if you have any commentary during the show. I love being interactive with you guys. Also, if you have a question or a comment, feel free to call in. The number is 1-855-446-7284. Or just tweet me, really simple, at OnlyMattMartin using hashtag pun intended. I'll be checking my tweets during the commercial break and I could possibly read some of your tweets live on air. So feel free to tweet me during the show. Also, I want to let you know, if you live here in New York or the tri-state area, in Radio has got your tickets to some of the hottest events this summer. So at the end of the show, be sure to click on the contest tab above me and see some of the amazing concerts we're giving away tickets for just for watching. Um, we're giving away tickets to the Paramount over in Huntington. They've had everybody lately from Whoopi Goldberg, Jenny McCarthy, um, who else we got coming up? Trace Adkins is on the lineup. Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers. Um, so be sure to check out our contest tab. Be sure to enter to win. Let them know you heard about it here on In or Out, pun intended. And if for any more information on the concerts and tickets and events going on at the Paramount, be sure to hit them up at ParamountNY.com. Um, also, our music 
is streaming 24 7. So if you're into country, top 40, alternative rock, or more, be sure to check out our music streams. You can download the free app now. It's available on all mobile markets. Just type in in Ravio, I N R A V I O, download the free app and stream our music today. All right, I'm going to keep this short because we got a big show. So stay tuned, we're gonna go, we're gonna come right back with epic entertainment news, pun intended style. Guys, stay tuned, you're watching In or Out, pun intended, here on inravio.com. We'll be right back. For over 60 years, Hanson Carpet has put the customer first, providing only the finest quality products and service. And Hanson Carpet is so much more than just carpet. We also carry a wide selection of window blinds and shades, and our licensed and insured technicians can service any of your flooring or window covering needs. Browse our huge selection of laminate, carpet, linoleum, vinyl, and tile. Stop by our showroom today or visit HansonCarpet.com. No matter what your project, Hanson Carpet has got you covered. Hey, this is Gina Cotillo from The Gina Show. Come join us every Wednesday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for celebrity interviews, reality reel with Billy Charles, funny, funny stories with Brian Guineer, and much, much more. The Gina Show can be found only on InRadio.com, broadcasting to the world. So come and catch us. of advertising has changed. Radio, TV, and newspaper revenues have declined drastically. Why? Because businesses have realized that advertising return on investment isn't what it used to be. So what can we do about it? Well, that's easy. Advertise online. Own a local restaurant, real estate agency, or even a national retail chain? Whatever your business, Inravio can get your message out there. And we can do it at a fraction of the cost. Call today and see the difference for yourself. This isn't TV. This isn't radio. This is Inravio.com. Transmission of lice occurs from being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Like catching a cold or a flu. You have guaranteed peace of mind in every bottle of Got Lice because all of our products are completely natural. And organic. But strong enough to cover all your lice removal needs while being safe and effective. Our professional technicians are specially trained with our exclusive proven technique to successfully comb out head lice. We come right to your home at your convenience. Whenever you want us. We bring everything needed to perform a successful and complete comb out while eliminating your head lice. And we leave you with our exclusive complimentary products to use for the next 10 days following our treatment for free our technicians also check all family members who have been exposed to lice please visit us on our website today at gotlice.co or feel free to call 24 hours a day seven days a week at 646-257-0121 
Paul Brown and the Killing Devils. Alternative progressive rock like you've never heard before. Over a million views on YouTube. New York City Village Voice says Paul is a gifted singer, songwriter, and musician with one of the best progressive rock bands on the planet. LA Underground Music Exchange calls him the only modern American band to cover every genre well. Pick up the album's Black Widow Tears, Red Spider, and The Wizard's Dawn, now on iTunes. And get to Facebook.com forward slash Killing Devils to keep up with the latest info. to interrupt pun intended and as you can see it is time for entertainment news okay so do you want to join the ranks of kelly clarkson carrie underwood philip phillips or any other idol alumni well your chance to audition for american idol's 14th season is just around the corner Auditions are being held in cities across the U.S. and will kick off June 18th in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So here are some of the American Idol audition dates I have for you, okay? So June 18th, Minneapolis. June 25th, New Orleans, Louisiana at the Lakefront Arena. July 23rd, here in Uniondale at Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum. July 30th, in Nashville, Tennessee at the Nashville Municipal Auditorium. And September 29th, in San Francisco, California at the Cow Palace, San Francisco. That that sounds like it should be a pun. Cow Palace, San Francisco. So if you want to see Ryan Seacrest and whoever the judges are going to be this season, be sure to check out those dates for tickets to audition for American Idol. I'm sure there's more information on AmericanIdol.com. But now you can try out if you think you got some chops. Speaking of a group that has some chops, they may be the biggest boy band on the planet right now, but an official representing the Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines, the CBC, P <laughs> is calling for One Direction to be banned from performing in the Philippines. The Hollywood Reporter reports that Friar Kanagunga Garganta, I don't care, Executive Secretary of the CBCP Episcopal Commission on the Youth has asked the government to consider stopping One Direction from performing in the Philippines on March 2015. He does not want them to lead the youth in the wrong direction. Why admit poisonous why admit poisonous influences? There is enough poison in our society, he said. Parents should stop their children from buying an expensive concert ticket of drug addicts, is what he implied. He described the issue as a challenge to the sense of culture of the Filipinos. As of now, One Direction is still scheduled to perform in Manila as planned. Um, he should have done a ban on Miley Cyrus because we're seeing a whole lot more of uh, Miley Cyrus lately, including her taint and other particulars that should be covered. I wonder if she is making a stop on her tour over there and how the, the Christian Council is going to <laughs> take that. Anyway, somebody who normally is in the headlines for being over the top, over the years we've grown used to seeing Miss Lady Gaga appear in lavish outfits, wigs, and makeup. So when the pop singer takes a photo of herself looking like this one, it becomes a deviation from the norm, the norm for her that is. The 28-year-old singer posted this selfie on her Instagram account yesterday with the caption, Day Off Sleepy Girl, looking quite beautiful if you ask me in the picture. She seemingly took the picture after she woke up in bed and decided to share her natural self with her fans. Gaga has posted makeup-free selfies before, but I think she looks quite stunning in this one. I mean, look how beautiful her eyes look. She looks like the girl next door. She doesn't look like... A freak show. 
But I wonder, like, all right, look at her lips here, guys. I think she might have gotten some lip injections. I'm just saying. But I like this natural look. I love her fiance. I think she's doing wonderful things right now. I love her right now. I know I'm like on and off with her too. If you watch my past episodes, you'll see. Anyway, Jennifer Lopez made her return to the Bronx this weekend to kick off State Farm Neighborhood Sessions on June 4th. And her career spanning set mixed the nostalgic and the new with emotion and heart. Her fans and community members were dancing and singing along with hits like Love Don't Cost a Thing, Waiting for Tonight, and Love Ya Poppy. And the crowd gave a unanimous awe one of her childhood favorites in dedication to her mom was Barbara Streisand's My Man. Before the show began, hold on on those pics, those are my top five. Uh, before the show began, local artists painted murals and local musicians performed around the field at Orchard Beach in Pelham Park, adding to the feel-good neighborhood experience. JLo's 90-minute concert, set in front of a cool, digitally lit cityscape background, was full, was full of highlights. And don't worry, Jenny from the Block closed her homecoming concert. Okay, now there were some top five moments that I noticed on the show. All right, so I'm gonna give you my top five. Okay, so this one, Jennifer Lopez brought back that iconic green Versace dress and she put her own J-Lo twist on it and she looks just as good as she did when she wore it to the 2000 Grammys. Uh, number four, Ja Rule joined her on stage for I'm Real and Ain't That Funny, which love the so throwback to like my summer years in high school. Number three, she sang Selena's No Me Queda Mas, making us want to watch Selena again, all over again. Um, two, she really brought it back to the block with I Love Ya Poppy. Her costume changes were intricate. Her outfits looked amazing. And number one, she tried to educate the community about healthy living. And I mean, it's obviously working. Look at her. Like, woof. She's 40 something years old with twins and she is not going anywhere anytime soon. She just won her Billboard Icon Award, if you remember that. I'm loving JLo right now and she's a Long Island girl. She's got a house out here. So I might be stalking her to get her on the show. We'll see what happens. But I'm really happy for JLo. I'm really excited for what she's got coming. Okay, now. Back to our Long Island girls, Lindsay Lohan. If you remember in my season premiere back in September, Dina Lohan was the out hole of the week because she was arrested for a DUI. Well, Dina Lohan was finally sentenced on Tuesday for her DUI arrest, and one person was missing from the courtroom, one the only Lindsay Lohan. On the day her mom lost her license and received 100 hours of community service, Lindsay was in London, enjoying a late night at her favorite, the Chittern Firehouse, alongside the likes of supermodels Naomi Campbell and Kate Moss. Lindsay was, has been making herself at home in London, enjoying workouts in the city parks, shopping, and indulging in the town's nightlife. Sources believe that she wants to relocate there permanently and continue to revive her career. I think she actually will have a fighting chance because the media here is so intense and like she doesn't get a second to breathe. So I truly think moving to London might be a good move for her. Um, next up in the, mo uh, in the news, movie star Leonardo DiCaprio refused to be filmed for keeping up with the Kardashians during a recent party where Brody Jenner happened to be DJing accompanied by his brother Brandon and dad Bruce. Only when the Jenner's cameras were gone did DiCaprio and his friends enjoy the event, reveals a source. The New York Post reports that Paris Hilton also refused to film for keeping up with the Kardashians. I think this is funny because 
Chloe and Courtney are out here in the Hamptons this summer, and a lot of Hamptons restaurants are refusing to let them film or even eat in the restaurant, citing they want to keep the integrity of their restaurants. I'm loving this. How freaking hilarious is that? Kim can be on the cover of every Vogue and she will still be refused at the Lobster House in the Hamptons. That makes me very happy. Um, they're also calling them like the social trash. It's, I, 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 I don't know if they anticipated a very warm, fuzzy welcome here in the Hamptons, but they're definitely not getting it. And I think they should hire some more security for the new Dash location. But now Kris Jenner, the Kardashian mogul, broke her silence on the drama surrounding Rob Kardashian abruptly bailing on Kim's wedding to Kanye West. Okay, so we all saw the picture of them leaving the airport and Rob was a little heavier than we're used to. I really feel bad for Rob. Um, there's gotta be a lot of pressure like with the sisters and stuff, but somebody just needs to shake him and send him away somewhere to just relax. And he's obviously got a, a food problem. So he just, I really, I like, I like him. I think him and, um, what's her name? Oh my God. Chloe are the most normal of all the Kardashians. And I really want to see Rob succeed. I can't see how a sock line is going to make him a millionaire. But he's doing something for himself. He, you know, he did graduate college. We saw that on the show. He needs to get his life back together. But Chris uh, was on the Today Show, and she said he's going to be okay. A lot of prayer, and you know, he's such a great human being and a nice, such a nice boy, is what Chris told Kathy Lee and Hoda, adding, "He's my heart." My heart breaks, because I really want him to do something with himself. I think he's really great. He's had some troubles in the, in the past with relationships, if you recall. And, you know, he's, he's a very sensitive guy. And I think this public figuredom has really messed with him. Anyway, speaking of public figuredom messing with people, Rihanna, dearest Rihanna, okay? I get you're into the s and M. I get it, but I'm confused on why you feel we need to see all your kibbles and bits every chance you have. I get it, you're skinny, you're pretty, you're not a great singer, you are a studio creation, so I guess this is how you're gonna stay relevant now, because you're gonna show up to a Savarsky Crystal event wearing this to expose all of this. Hello? Unnecessary. Seriously, unnecessary. I don't understand it. I don't, I get it. She's covered in Savarsky crystals, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, I don't need to see your nips and I don't need to see your crack to know that you have them. We've already seen your porn tape, so we know that your hips don't lie and we know that you can shaky shaky and pop a squat on whatever. We don't need to see it on the red carpet. Have some class, do something worthy. That's, I'm sorry, that's my little Rihanna rant. Anyway, so I'm gonna go to the hunk of the day, and the hunk of the day is my next guest because of this picture featured in DNA Magazine, so be sure to pick up your copy. And our next guest, Blake McIver, I'm so excited. If you remember back, oh my goodness, I think it was in January or September, I did a whole segment on child stars that made it and did something of themselves, because I'm sick of hearing about all these child stars running to drugs and alcohol and killing themselves. Well, Blake here has revived his career, and he's had quite an extensive career in between on and off camera, living in California. So I'm excited to guys bring him on the show, let you get to see him and meet him and know more about him and hear about his experience on Bravo's really new hit show, The People's Couch. So guys, stay tuned. We have more coming up, including 
Blake McIver after this commercial break. You're watching In or Out, pun intended, here on InRadio.com. We will be right back. of advertising has changed. Radio, TV, and newspaper revenues have declined drastically. Why? Because businesses have realized that advertising return on investment isn't what it used to be. So what can we do about it? Well, that's easy. Advertise online. Own a local restaurant, real estate agency, or even a national retail chain? Whatever your business, Inravio can get your message out there, and we can do it at a fraction of the cost. Call today and see the difference for yourself. This isn't TV. This isn't radio. This is Inravio.com. Welcome back to In or Out, pun intended. Okay, so I promised and I deliver, okay? So today, guys, thanks for joining me in the chat room, by the way. Hello, Cutie Bunny, Cindy. I know Lady Music is in there. Cheryl is in there. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for joining us in the chat. If you guys have questions for Blake, be sure to type them in there. I'm actually checking my tweets right now. You guys are freaking amazing. Um, so I have some questions for Blake coming up from you guys directly from Twitter. So keep them coming in. But let's just get right to it. Currently on Bravo TV's hit show, Tuesday nights at 10, 9 central, on the people's couch, sharing the couch with friend and friend to the show, Scott Nevins, and his best friend, Emerson Collins, the one, the only, Blake McIver. Hi. Hello. How are you? How's it going? Good. How are you Good. doing? Good. Oh, I'm liking the blue. A little, a little blue, a little, a little California blue happening. <laughs> <laughs> So what's new with you, okay? I, I remember you as Waldo. Right. And well, I loved Waldo, and a lot has changed since then. That is so true. The glasses are gone. That's what The thing. glasses are gone. You loved Waldo? He was such a jerk. He was, he was like a pain in the ass, but I liked the character because it was the only drama in that show besides a fire <laughs> to their fort. 
<laughs> and I love a good days of our gaze of our lives story. I line. mean, I brought the sass and the drama. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> so how did you start out? Um, I started out, the very first thing I ever did on TV was Star Search. I was on Ed McMahon's Star Search right. way back, way back, the original go around. And um, I won a 92 Junior Vocal Champion, and that's what catapulted me into the business. The producers of Full House had seen me on Star Search and wrote that very first Yankee Doodle episode with me in mind. <laughs> <laughs> and what was supposed to be one episode turned into three years on the show. Awesome. And what happened with... So you were in Star Search for a continued time. Then did you have Full House? For, then Little Rascals? How did that work? Uh, yeah, Little Rascals actually fell in between on a hiatus of Full House. Okay. Yeah, so it's all kind of happening at the same time. So you were actively auditioning as a child? Yes. So now do you come from a showbiz family? I do, actually. Um, my mom was a dancer on the original Dean Martin show. Okay. Um, so she was part of Variety TV from the late 60s on and then did movies and television after that. Um, and my dad was a film producer turned studio executive. Uh, so they weren't thrilled that I wanted to be uh, involved <laughs> in their so film. ironic? <laughs> like parents, like, and they have the kids that want to go in the show business, they're like, no, 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 no. Well, they because they knew the reality of the business, so they were like, "You, honey, you, well, this is what you're getting yourself into." <laughs> <laughs> so you were successful on Little Rascals, successful as a reoccurring character on Full House, and then you did a lot of voiceover work, which I find really interesting because you did shows that, like we, it, it was our age demographic watching the shows when you were doing them. Right. It was crazy. Uh, a lot of fun on those. Um, Recess for Disney was a blast. Uh, I did a f about four years on Hey Arnold. I know, uh, and I love Arnold. that helmet head, the football head. I loved that show. I was actually the second Eugene, because um, as, as our voices changed and we got older, they'd have to recast <laughs> as the series went on and on. But yeah, that was that was amazing. So much fun. It's, it's crazy, because those animated shows, you all record at the same time in one room. So it's just, it's like reading a play. It's, right. it's so much fun. Now... Did you like? Did you ever go on a little bit of a hiatus? Yes, I did. Um, to finish high school and then go to college, um, I did. I, I had to take some time off because so otherwise, I was, you, would never have gotten that done. So, what did you go to college for? Um, I, funny enough, I went to college for theater production. <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> I see I any gonna, irony there. <laughs> well, I thought I was going to produce Broadway shows. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, and then, you, you, I mean, you've always been a vocalist, even as a kid. Now, I, well, wait, before we even get to that. When I heard you were joining the cast of The People's Couch, I was thrilled, but I was like, who is this? First, I was like, this kid looks so familiar. Who is this guy? And then I'm researching, 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 and then you pop up on E! Online with the before and after. And then I started following you on Instagram, and I think it was Halloween. You had the windblown <laughs> Superman outfit. Guys, yeah. if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the episode back with Scott Nevins. It was on there. It was hilarious. That was the, one of the most creative costumes I've ever seen. Thank but you. you were, like, dancing in L.A. Yeah. And working it. Yeah, trying to. <laughs> <laughs> so what made you get into that? Well, I was I was working my my sort of day job was uh, I was working as a vocal coach and I was I was training other people to sing and um, and that just sort of as the recession hit and as as life just sort of took some twists and turns and students uh, stopped coming and that you know you know how that's like the first thing that goes it's like lessons dance lessons singing lessons like so I was having a hard time sort of making ends meet and um, it what started as a joke became you know a, like a six month little mini career uh, as a go-go boy um, <laughs> to pay the bills and to eventually what I did is I just took the money and put it right into my album and like that it literally paid for the music videos in the album no I I actually have a Twitter question for you from at yeah. cans30. She's wondering if Blake's Mimosa ratio is good today. I hope <laughs> you know what that means. And what he thought of the normal about, heart. 
<laughs> I tweeted about it the other day. I was like, it was Sunday brunch time, and I was like, the, I, there's, I don't even know who I am anymore because I put way too much orange juice in this momo. So no, the ratio is great today. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing really well. It's mostly champagne. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this week you actually debuted your album at the Lyric Room, correct? The Lyric Theater, yeah. The Lyric in LA. Theater in LA. And that was on Monday, June yes. 3rd. And the album is titled The Time Manipulator. What is going on on this album? <laughs> well, The Time Manipulator, it's it's a sort of a subtle nod to one of my favorite movies and series of movies, which is Back to the Future. Okay. Um, and my musical tastes and the genres that I write in are a little bit varied. There is a common thread of pop music, but there's inspirations that I draw from classic rock, gospel, bossa nova, um, dance pop. So there's a little bit of everything on the album uh, with, with a through line of pop music. So that's why it's my own sort of uh, time travel journey through, through music. And now what was your journey like coming out? Because I, um, you had, I think it was last year you recorded It Gets Better, and then it just, you know, blew up this year with the right. writer from the show. And it's really a great anthem. But what Thank was you. your coming out experience like? Well, it's funny because originally coming out, I, I came out like three and a half years ago, and it was to no fanfare. I wasn't really visible in the business. I was just sort of writing music and doing my own thing, and, and no, it was, there, was no, <laughs> there was no hoopla surrounding right. it. Um, and then when, when that uh, Huffington Post and E! News story <laughs> ran last year, it was, like, it was like I had to come out all over again, yeah. because then it was, suddenly it was public. As Scott but, would say, it was like a puff of a ball of glitter, like all of a sudden there you were. It was. It was crazy. But you know, for me, as as long as as long as I can be a positive influence, and if I can inspire someone who's maybe having trouble coming out or struggling with being ostracized in their community, uh, you know, that's what the song's about. That's really what the whole album is about. The whole album, the theme of the album is empowerment. So if I can be a voice for that and for change, then then I'm doing my job right. Now, tell me what the People's Couch experience has been for you. Because people it's, are loving you guys. People are dying for it, which, okay, so when they pitched the show to us, I was like, wait, so this is a TV show where people at home are going to watch us at home watching TV at home. Like, really? Like, we, <laughs> this has got to be the end of entertainment. Like, we, we've reached the bottom. But what's funny is that people identify with the different groups in different ways. And so what it really becomes is this sort of sociology experiment and the conversations that have been started because of the show and because of the things that we're responding to and sometimes not responding to has been amazing. So it's really it's really taken off and, and not only is it funny and, and lighthearted, but then we've also started doing with the extension, we started doing some serious stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, like my Twitter question about Normal Heart we did last week, which was really, you know, a moving, a moving segment. So we've, we're really able to, to, to take on a lot of topics uh, through the show, which has been awesome. Now, have they given you a show to watch and you're just like, oh, I can't sit through another one of these episodes? <laughs> the hardest thing we ever had to watch was Duck Dynasty. Uh, it was how we could painful do would that have been? Uh, oh, my God. The just horrible. Just, it was miserable. <laughs> Uh, what is your favorite show on TV that you wish they would put on the people's couch? Mad Men. <laughs> oh, I had John Hamm on a couple of weeks ago. Oh, I love I understand it, I, it completely. <laughs> just, I, I was praying for a Mad Men episode. <laughs> <laughs> now, you guys are filming into, uh, well, the show will be airing into the middle of July now. So yes. you guys got extended. Yes. And we're keeping our fingers crossed for another season. Yes, we're hoping for season two. Awesome. Um, now, another thing I wanted to bring up is, oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank. Why am I drawing a blank? <laughs> uh, I talked about the album. I talked about People's Couch. Oh, I wanted to know if you were still going to look into doing maybe more movies and things like that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think I could ever completely walk away from acting, even though music has been the focus, you know, just uh, these past few months getting this this album out that I've wanted to, to release for so long. Um, but yeah, no, I could never walk away from it completely. So I'm, I'm still auditioning. I've still got I've still got a finger in it. <laughs> awesome. 
All right, Blake, I want to thank you so much for being a guest on the show. Guys, you, you can follow him on Twitter. It's going to be right there on the screen for you. It's really easy. It's at Blake MacGyver. Also, you can go to his website to find out more information on him and where you can buy his music, which I'm assuming it's available on iTunes right now. Yes, it is. It's BlakeMacGyver.com. So, guys, be sure to check him out and watch him on your couch. Watch you. Watch him. Watch her. Watch that. It's a whole watching so experience. <laughs> and be sure to tweet live with them. They're really fun tweeters using hashtag the people's couch. But like I said, it's Tuesdays, 10, 9 central. It's one hour now. So they're covering a whole spectrum of shows on Bravo. So, Blake, once again, thank you so much for being on. And we will be thank in touch. You. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. Great to be on the show. And enjoy the weather there in sunny California. <laughs> Thank you. I will. <laughs> All, All right. right. Take care. Have a good weekend. All Bye -bye. right, guys. We'll be back with more in or out pun intended right after this. and the Killing Devils, alternative progressive rock like you've never heard before. Over a million views on YouTube. New York City Village Voice says Paul is a gifted singer, songwriter, and musician with one of the best progressive rock bands on the planet. LA Underground Music Exchange calls him the only modern American band to cover every genre well. Pick up the albums Black Widow Tears, Red Spider, and The Wizard's Dawn, now on iTunes. And get to Facebook.com forward slash Killing Devils to keep up with the latest info. The world of advertising has changed. Radio, TV, and newspaper revenues have declined drastically. Why? Because businesses have realized that advertising return on investment isn't what it used to be. So what can we do about it? Well, that's easy. Advertise online. Own a local restaurant, real estate agency, or even a national retail chain? Whatever your business, in radio can get your message out there. And we can do it at a fraction of the cost. Call today and see the difference for yourself. This isn't TV. This isn't radio. This is in radio.com. Transmission of lice occurs from being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Like catching a cold or a flu. You have guaranteed peace of mind in every bottle of Got Lice because all of our products are completely natural. And organic. But strong enough to cover all your lice removal needs while being safe and effective. Our professional technicians are specially trained with our exclusive proven technique to successfully comb out head lice. We come right to your home at your convenience. Whenever you want us. We bring everything needed to perform a successful and complete comb out while eliminating your head lice. And we leave you with our exclusive complimentary products to use for the next 10 days following our treatment for free our technicians also check all family members who have been exposed to lice 
please visit us on our website today at gotlice.co or feel free to call 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 646-257-0121. Hey, this is Gina Cotillo from The Gina Show. Come join us every Wednesday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for Celebrity Interviews, Reality Real with Billy Charles, Funny, funny stories with Brian Guineer and much, much more. The Gina Show can be found only on InRadio.com, broadcasting to the world. So come and catch us. For 60 years, Hanson Carpet has put the customer first, providing only the finest quality products and service. And Hanson Carpet is so much more than just carpet. We also carry a wide selection of window blinds and shades, and our licensed and insured technicians can service any of your flooring or window covering needs. Browse our huge selection of laminate, carpet, linoleum, vinyl, and tile. Stop by our showroom today or visit HansonCarpet.com. No matter what your project, Hanson Carpet has got you covered. Welcome back to In or Out, pun intended. Guys, how awesome was that to have Blake, Blake Skype in? I'm so excited. I really am obsessed with the People's Couch. I can't even tell you enough. Um, it's on every Tuesday, 9 o'clock, 10, 9 central on Bravo TV. So be sure to check it out if you haven't already. Guys, my season is ending next week. And I am not going to tell you who my guest is yet because it is going to be a surprise. So you're definitely going to want to tune in next week as I close out for the summer. But guys, if you've missed any episodes, be sure to check out the archive page. If you didn't see the Phaedra Parks, John Hamm, Scott Nevins, Eli Lieb, um, who else? Have I? I've had everybody. 26 episodes, guys. Be sure to go back and watch the episodes and check out the other great shows here on InRadio.com over the summer. Phaedra Parks. Oh, I loved my Phaedra Parks. Phaedra Parks. Speaking of which, I got to call her. Anyway, note to self. Um, <laughs> So there's a lot going on here this summer. I'm sure you guys have a lot going on, but I want to keep in touch with you. So be sure if you're not already to follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at only Matt Martin. Also, guys, if you want a guest on the show or somebody you want to see, I will get them on. Okay, so be sure to email my producers. The email is talkshow at onlymapmartin.com. Be sure to email them. Let them know who you want to see on the show, and we will do our very best to get them on the show. It's really easy. We love that you guys are interactive. Please tell me Matt Bomer has been on or will be on. Lol, such a beautiful man. Cindy, I'm working on it. Him in those beautiful blue eyes, let me tell you. Um, but I do have a teaser for you. I'll give you a little teaser for what's going on next week. Um, if you remember, the Magic Mike star is coming out with a movie, Jump Street, or was it 22 Jump Street? And we have an exclusive trailer to show you guys next week. So there's a little tidbit for next week. 
And keep your fingers crossed for Channing Tatum to just walk in studio. Keep your fingers crossed. Anyway, so at the <laughs> I would die. My producer just literally had a panic attack in the studio, like, it was epic. Anyway, so at the end of every show, I always have an out hole of the week. And generally, it's when a celebrity does something really, really stupid, and I just need to let you guys know about it. But this week, it's an average Joe and an average Jane, and it has to do with Disney's Frozen. Okay? So, Disney's Frozen has been epic for Disney of huge mass success, but it has officially claimed one marriage. Apparently, the gentleman, the husband, is 31 year old, and his wife are fighting and actually divorcing over Disney's Frozen. Apparently, he's obsessed with this movie, and she sat down and watched it with him, and she's just not a fan. So, what's the problem? Apparently, according to their friends, they've been a normal couple having a very stable, steady, happy relationship, but this movie has drove a wedge into her cold heart as she is leaving him because of his obsession with Frozen. Wait, the other way around. She's obsessed? No, he's obsessed. He, I swear to God, I thought it was a he was obsessed with it. Can we just fact check that real quick? I'm pretty sure he was obsessed with it. But regardless, let it go. Like it's a movie, pun intended, let it go. Um, okay, let me see what we got going on in the chat box. You need a mimosa, I do need a mimosa. It is Friday and I do need a mimosa. Is that the story? I think they're, they're pulling it up for me because I want to make sure I'm giving you the right information here. Okay, so he didn't like the movie, so therefore she is divorcing him. <sighs> what a shunda. What? It, it sounded better because a guy liked it more than her. <laughs> In my mind, the, the straight man is like, oh, peace out, girl. I like Let It Go. <laughs> well, speaking of Hey Girl, Hey and Let It Go, <coughs> excuse me, it is June, and that means it is LGBT month, so there are prides going on across the country. I just got back uh, from having the honor of hosting uh, Jersey Gay Pride in Asbury Park this past Sunday, I had a blast. There was thousands upon thousands of people, some wonderful acts. So if you have a pride in your area, go and support your LGBT friends and community and participate. It's really a great fun day. You get to be like Lady Gaga all day long. You can dress up and wear whatever the heck you want and no one cares. Just you know, know your body. That's all I have to say. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out the contest tab, like I said, after the show, and visit ParamountNY.com and see all the great shows they have coming on this summer. I'm going to say goodbye. Oh, 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 just in, just in, see, just in. Instagram. We are finally on Instagram. So be sure to follow us on Instagram. It's at Enravio. And use hashtag Enravio and we will like, 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 like your pictures. So yeah, be sure to follow us on Instagram. That is the newest and latest news here at Enravio. All right, guys. So I will see you next week here for my season finale episode because I'm taking a break for the summer. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today. I want to thank Blake so much for being on the show. I want to thank my chatters and my tweeters. Thank you so much. I wouldn't be doing this show if it wasn't for you guys. So tune in next week, 6, 7 Central PM live here on Enravio.com. Have a great weekend. I will see you next week. Do something nice for somebody, will ya? I'll see you next week. Have a good one.
Eat Radio.